to give you uh, an example of how to access SPSS and do a quick analysis and interpret the output. And so this video will be edited by my wonderful and brilliant niece, Tegan. Hi. Who will make it a little bit more fun, spice it up a little bit. So, okay, without further ado, you can go to the syllabus and get the, uh, the link for SPSS, but you can also just Google UCF apps and then click on it. It's it.ucf.edu backslash UCF apps. And then you just hit log into UCF apps. And if this is the first time you've done this, you might need to download the Citrix receiver. So if you see something that starts that asks you to download this, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, once you've logged in once, it'll look like this. And all you need to do is put in your NID. Mine is S. Witten, and then at ucf.edu and then your password for your NID, which hopefully works the first time you do it. Woohoo, it did. So when you log in, you're going to see a screen like this. If you haven't logged in before, you will see all the apps there. When you are here, you want to go to uh, SPS. So it, it'll be IBM SPSS Statistics 27. If you view this video in the future, so past uh, the year 2021, it might be tw uh, IBM SPSS Statistics 28 or 29 and so on. But it looks like this. It is not the IBM SPSS Amos. So you want this one. So just double click on that. And sometimes you do have to wait quite a bit. So SPSS is a pretty heavy program. And so sometimes it takes quite a long time to get started. So have a good book. Have a game up on your phone. Have your statistics book in front of you. Look at that. Maybe do a couple sample problems. And eventually you can get started like this. So SPSS will look like this. If you're typing in data, which is mostly what you'll do, um, you can actually just close out of this. And then SPSS has two views from the data editor, which is what we're in. Right, so we're in the SPSS data editor. And so you can look at the data view if you look down here, or you can look at the variable view. So let's start with the data view. Here, you just have to type in your data. So I'm gonna type in some numbers, eight, six, seven, five, three, zero, oh, and nine. And so here you can see our first variable has eight, six, seven, five, three, zero, oh, and nine. And so we're going to analyze that. We can go to the var variable view and rename that. So those of you who are, who are familiar with 80s songs know this is Jenny's number. If not, you can Google that and get a great song to dance to. For now, we're just going to analyze this. So we type that in. So data view, variable view, and then once we want to analyze, we just go up here to analyze. Now we're just going to get the mean, median, modes, and so on. So we're just going to go to analyze, then descriptive statistics, and then frequencies. We hit frequencies, and then we want to move the variables that we're interested over to this box that says variables. In this case, we only have one variable. So we're just going to move that over and we'll hit this button over here that says statistics and we can choose the statistics that we are interested in. In this case, we probably want the mean, median, and mode, standard deviation, variance, and range. And that I think covers most of lesson one. So I'm gonna hit continue. Also in lesson two, we'll need the frequency tables. So we're gonna uh, keep that clicked. We're gonna hit okay. 
and then there we go. So as you can see here, this is our output. It'll have all the information that we asked it for. So again, this is the data view or the data file, and then this is called the output file. And so we can see here that we do have our mean, our median, our mode, uh, standard deviation, variance, and range, and we also have our frequency table. And so to turn this in, the best way to do it, I've found, because it's very hard to save to the night's drive, and there's all kinds of issues with that, is to take a screenshot, and so on a Mac, it's Shift Command 4. I don't know what it is on a PC, but that you can probably easily look that up. And then just select what you are interested in. Take that screenshot and then go to Word. And then go to Insert, Pictures, Picture from File, and then find the screenshot that you did. It's like... All right, so we're just gonna put that screenshot in here. Okay, and so there you go. So this will be something that I know, this is a format that I know that I can see, that the TAs can see and so on. And so I would just put, you know, my name up here. Oh, would I? Yes, I would. My name and maybe whatever homework it is and then voila, save that, and you can upload that to the assignments link. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful. I'd like to especially, especially thank my niece, Tegan Corden Witten for help in making this video fun and accessible for you. Without further ado, goodbye. And always know that you can reach out to me through course mail uh, if you have any questions or problems.